Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about skinny art kids, liberal soy boys and all that stuff. If you are a skinny art kid, do not get offended. So the question is, what is a skinny art kid? Kid with the Harry Potter glasses and the sketching book and the 35 millimeter film camera. We've all been there. I mean, to be honest, I've kind of had that era as well. It's totally fine. What's not fine is not leaving that era. You have to let it go at some point, which I would say that point would be your, I don't know, late teenagers, maybe like 17, 16, just let it go, let it go. You're not saving the world. You're not doing anything good for the world. You know nothing about the real world. I know nothing about the real world. No one knows nothing about the real world. It's so hard to gain consciousness in this matter. You can't just throw some fucking tomato sauce into Mona Lisa or whatever the fuck and pretend like you're an artist, like you're an activist or, or whatever, like of what kind. The answer is just stop, stop it. Avoid being a skinny art kid. But how do you do that? What is the problem with being a skinny art kid? The problem is, first off, you're on your path to become an artist, your skinny art kid thoughts will lead you to believing that money doesn't matter. Okay, I agree, money is a piece of paper, whatever, but you need it. You need it for your rent, you need it for your food. How are you gonna survive life? Don't you wanna buy things? You're living in this capitalist world. What are you gonna do? Just go live your life? How the fuck are you gonna do that? You know, one of the biggest misconceptions about being an artist is that you are supposed to be these starving artists, then you will make art and live for three days. If that's your thing, if art is a hobby to you, then sure, just do whatever you want with it. But to actually want to influence people, you're not gonna get there. So if you think that you're actually going to have an influence on people without making anything that is valuable, you're probably living in a bubble. So we established the first problem. It's with you. It, it's that you are damaging your own life. You are sacrificing your living situation just to prove that you're an artist. No one cares. If you don't make money, you're not gonna be able to survive. And we all know that, but we ignore it. That's why I'm telling you this now. I'm just a reminder. I am learning about life every day. A 70, 80 year old man is learning about life every day. It's not something that you can just figure it out. I'm not asking you to make a big difference. All I'm asking you is to establish yourself. Let's say you're a, you want to be a filmmaker. You need to make some money. Well, obviously you're not going to make money by filmmaking. No one's going to want to see your three minute short film crap. So what do you do? Learn another tool related to art, whatever you like, whether it's video editing, it's photography. So if you're making films, learn video editing, learn about color grading. If you like doing some paintings, you will probably like graphic design. If you like making music, you will probably like sound design. And you go from there. Even if you don't want to do that, then go do a sales job or start your own business. People are making a shit ton of money these days just doing these online craps. Or start making content on YouTube. It's better than sitting at home like a loser. So that is the solution to your financial situation. So basically, if you are still living with your parents, you're not paying rent, you know, you don't have to pay for your own food. There's food in the house, there's the, the, they do the grocery shopping, you know. Note that this time will go and you will be left with a rent, a nine to five job and becoming an artist because becoming an artist is not that simple, right? It's not like you're becoming a doctor, like I'm gonna go to the university, come out, I'm a doctor. At some point, you will realize that it's all pointless. And as soon as anything art related loses its point, if anything loses its point in real life, you are gonna be disappointed in that. Now, when it comes to art, most of the time, it doesn't have to make sense, whatever the subject is. Now, if that doesn't have a point for you, yourself, the creator, then you're, you're literally gonna be suicidal. And that's actually how it happens. Don't forget that time is not moving ahead with you. It's actually in the opposite direction. You're getting older and older and older every day. Understand 
that you have a time limit. After some time, you won't be able to deliver the same quality work. Start that online business you had in mind. Don't say no if your uncle wants to hire you. Doesn't matter, you'll get discipline. Now, moving from that, the first topic was your financial situation. The second topic goes back to the art itself. In today's era, it's so competitive. You have to get something very unique. If it's a script, if it's poetry, painting, graphic design, there are the AIs kicking in. Everything's just, uh, it's, like, it's like that movie, you know? Everything, everywhere, all at once, or everywhere, everything, all at once, I don't know. So moving on, I'm gonna go to the next topic about the skinny art kit problem. You don't have a niche, right? Or maybe you do, I don't know, you probably don't, because you might do a little painting, you might do some music, you might get into some 35 millimeter photography. If you don't have a niche, if you don't know either you're going to be a photographer or if you're going to be a musician and you're doing everything like uh, you're, a, you're you're the, you're the type that the Tumblr guy, the Tumblr girl, and that's who you become. A what's the saying? Jack of all trades and master of none. You want to be that guy, or do you want to be like um, Jack of all trades and master of one? comedy so in conclusion to that just pick one niche you want to tell stories you want to make music now how do you want to express it through a single frame whether it's photography or painting or whatever or is it more large format is it video games figure it out yourself do not ask for help no one can help you just figure it out on your own the third point is university just let it go. Next one is being an activist. Now, AI is coming in and so many artists are so sad thinking AI is going to take their job. And everyone's just, you know, looking at the wrong direction. This is reality. This is now, this AI is now working and it might be doing better than you. I'm not saying I'm an AI art fan. I'm saying the fact that you're wasting your time on being some activist, thinking, assuming you can change shit that you can't, wasting your own time and let go of being an activist throwing some tomato sauce or soup will not change global warming okay stop doing all this teenage fucked up emo kid shit do you want to deliver actual influence go make something big go make something that people will actually see people aside from the two friends that you have a pinterest account with aside from two other skinny art kids you have that listen to rock music and pretend like they're artists not thinking about the fact that those rock artists also had a big audience this won't help you if you actually want to have an influence you have to be someone you can't just have an influence and a big impact on the whole Whole world just going out there thinking you can throw tomato sauce and post pictures on 35 millimeter film camera and you know you're an artist you're an activist you change the world you ended racism make something create something then pe that people can actually understand that it actually makes sense to people by this i don't mean realism has to be involved in your work it can be abstract it can be obfuscated it doesn't matter if people want to figure it out if people can relate to it they will just the way you look into a painting it's abstract as fuck you don't understand anything but it makes you feel good so you like it so you buy it because you want that thing in your house you want to see it all the time it makes you feel better so it's leaving an impact on you so just to make it clear, I'm not asking you to go for a 200 million people audience. This is not a matter of number. This is the matter of your thoughts, your mentality. Do you want to make a big influence on the world? You do, do you want to make a big impact? Then why the fuck are you in your own little tiny room jerking off all day? Next subject is criticism. You motherfuckers do a painting, take a picture, and then share it everywhere. And you think it's perfectly amazing. I'm not saying you should be disrespectful to your own work. I'm saying you should criticize it. 
You should believe in yourself, believe in your work, but you should always criticize it. You will never be perfect and your work will never be perfect. So stop making it very big thing. It's not. Stanley Kubrick made the most amazing films one director has ever made. He wasn't satisfied with his work. He never would. Now, you make one frame and you're happy with that? Last but not least, a very important matter is discipline and time. You don't have all the time in the world. You're not Stanley Kubrick. You're not some big artist that is very respected and all the studios want to work with him. You are basically just a guy or a girl in his or her room, sitting alone, just thinking, planning, what should I do next? What's my next move? And when you're in that situation, you lose motivation and you have to motivate yourself all the time. But aside from motivation, it's it's the discipline that will make you create stuff. So it's all about the action. Stop telling everyone about how you want to change the world and how you want to be so artistic. And when I, when and you, you talk about it all the time, right? You tell everyone you want to be artistic and then you don't do it and then you become autistic. All of these art stuff, there, there's, there's the first part. You think about how you're going to create it, what you're going to do for it. And then the final big boss is the action. It's all about the action. Nobody cares about your script. Nobody cares about your painting ideas. Everyone wants to see the action. And even in the action, people pass by because Instagram, all the social media, People are not so used to long format things. The only thing that is still out there is video games and films and YouTube. You might see a painting on your Instagram and you'll just like it and pass by. You don't really care. That's what happened when you did the action. If you don't do any action, is you're basically retarded. That's how people are going to see you. And remember, this generation needs more artists than any generation. In all genres of art, we're lacking new artists. It's becoming worse and worse. And social media is just a big negative influence on art. But I believe in the future and I hope you believe as well. And I hope to see some amazing, stunning new art from the new generation. And our generation is literally the last generation that can change this. You do have a responsibility, whether you like it or not. So go ahead, create, go nuts, risk it all. No one will stop you except for yourself. That is it for this video. I hope that it left a positive impact on you and made you think twice, that it helped you out with your art career and where you wanna take it and I hope to see more work from everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you in another one.